All right. Good evening, you guys. This is Joy with HEA Novel Thoughts. I'm here tonight with Lauren Helms, and she is our author guest today. Let's go ahead and begin. One More Round is my second book in my Gamer Boy series, and it's my second book overall. Um, it features some sexy and sweet professional gamers. Really, it features Gia who and Simon, who were um, introduced in book one of Level Me Up. And basically, my Gamer Boy series just follows um, a group of um, professional video gamers and um, the girls and guys that they fall in love with. So, um, What inspired you to write? video game players uh well i up until about a year ago i was working for um an imprint with uh penguin random house called prima games and we published video game strategy guides and i worked there for seven years and when i first got that job i um knew nothing about video games except for the fact that my husband was obsessed with them and huh. um just after working there and learning all about the video game industry, I, you know, I've been a reader forever. And so I was like, I should write about video gamers. So I like it. There, everyone, it seems like most guys play games, so it works. Yeah, I figure, you know, all of the, the women out there that are like, oh, my boyfriend or my husband, all I do are play, is play Call of Duty or, you know, video games. They could relate. Yeah. Um, and I loved, loved Simon. I got to beta read her book, and I love it. <laughs> Simon is broodiness. All right. Have you ever fangirled in the, over another author? Um, yes. I actually, I'm having a release party for one more round next week. And I reached out to some of my favorite authors. And one of my favorites, um, Robin Bellman. Mm -hmm. Um, she, I was like, I'm a huge fan and I don't know if you know who I am, but I'm having a release party. Will you like join the release party? And she's like, yes, I know who you are. I was like, what? <laughs> How exciting is that? I know. I know. Um, it's yeah. always fun when someone you don't think knows you knows you. <laughs> I know. I know. And I was like, maybe I stalk her too much on social media and that's why she knows me. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, she knows you. That's all that matters. Yes. Have you ever written fan fiction? I have not. I have not. I've thought about it. Uh, I, my husband actually brought it up a couple weeks ago, asking me if I would consider that, and I was like, I don't think I could. I don't think I could do it. What would you, if you wrote fan fiction, what would you write it for? Probably um, Shadow Hunters. I don't even know what that is. Yes. Is that a TV show uh, or a movie? Cassandra Clare mm -hmm. um, writes a bunch of books about her shadow hunters. There's like three or four series. Um, maybe, I think the first one's called um, City uh, or uh, Montament Instruments. Oh, I forgot. Um, but she's got a bunch of them, and I love them. And it's it. there is a show, and I'm currently Ben's watching the show. It took me a couple times to get into it because I'm like, this is not like the books. But it mm. is. Kind of. Lots of liberties taken. Yes. Have you ever kept it a secret from any of any, your friends or family that you're an author? Um, no, not really. Um, when I first started writing, I didn't really tell many people that I was writing a book. Not because I was um, worried. It's just I didn't want people to, like, so I, went, I didn't want people to ask me constantly, like, so how's the book coming? Or when is it going to be published? When can I read it? Because when I was writing it, I was like, I don't know if I want everybody to read it. I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. Right. But once it was, once I was, like, setting the ball in motion and publishing it, I started telling more people. But um, I don't really, like, tell pe a lot of people, not because I'm, I'm not ashamed at all. I love it. It's just, it's not really, like, I'm not sitting next to somebody at the softball diamonds and say, oh, Cool, yeah, I write books. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Have you ever cried while writing? No, I don't think I have. I cry while I'm reading, but um, I have not cried yet. 
while I was writing. I've, I've written and, and thought to myself, I really hope I can make someone cry right now, but I have not cried. <laughs> I, think, I think my goal really is to make people laugh. I don't really consider myself a funny person in real life. And so sometimes when I'm writing, I'm like, oh, that was really funny. Like, I'm really proud of myself for coming up with that. <laughs> <laughs> have you based any of your characters on you? <laughs> yes, I have. Um, I think that it might have something to do with that these are my first books. And so I'm getting these, the, all these characters are new, new to me characters. Like, I feel like I need to get all of the, the similarities of myself and people that I know out now. So then in future books, they're like completely like n new, real, their own characters. But um, I, I sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit too much like Morgan, my first um, character, my first uh, lead character. Um, but yeah, I, I, I would have to say when my husband was reading Level Me Up and even my sister-in-law, they were like, um, am I reading about Morgan or you? And I'm like, ah, no, it's fiction. <laughs> Have you tried any of the positions before putting in the, writing them into the book? I heard you ask the, Cassie this question earlier today, and I was like, there's no way she's going to ask me. Um, no, <laughs> no. Um, I am still getting my feet wet with writing hot and sexy scenes. Um, I can read them all day long and not have a problem with them, but when it comes to writing them, I'm just like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I definitely think that there was I, um, there's a little bit more steam in One More Round than uh, Level Me Up but no to answer your question um, <laughs> what is your have you ever had anyone else's character make an appearance in your books no not yet but um, maybe soon there might be something in the works how long on average does it take you to write a book Oh, um, I don't think I can properly answer this question because um, for Level Me Up, I wrote the first draft in 30 days. I did NaNoWriMo one November, um, and if you're not familiar with that, it's National Novel Writing Month, and you basically, you, you set a goal to write a 50,000-word first draft in one month. And I was a mom of two, worked a full-time job. And I wrote Level Me Up in one month. Um, now, it took me a long time to publish it, but um, one month, one more round took me like nine months <laughs> as a stay-at-home mom with three kids and a part-time job. <laughs> so um, that's not the average I'm going for. <laughs> I would like to knowing all of the stuff in my life that I've got going on, I would like to be able to write a book in three months or less. That's my goal. Maybe you just need to have the pressure. Maybe. From the first time. <laughs> yes. Maybe I, you write better under pressure. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I definitely think that it's, um, it comes, I gave myself really bad, um, writer's block two or three times with one more round to the point where I could not get out of it. I'm a very structured person and I like my outlines and I like to know what I'm writing before I write it. And I would get to the point where I would sit there in my front of my computer and be like, I have no idea what I'm going to write. And my writing time is so limited with having three kids and um, it usually comes, my writing time usually comes at night after they go to bed and my brain was already like on overdrive and I'm just like, I just would stare at my computer. But, um, so yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm have trying. you started working on your next book? I have, I am outlining Gamer Boy 3, which is Link and Ruby's story. And so, um, I'm really looking forward to writing theirs. Um, but I, I feel like I, I have to be really careful with them because they're really fun characters and they have a lot of um, chemistry between the two of them. So I, like I said earlier, I don't consider myself a funny person and I feel like the two of them are really funny. So like I'm trying to like 
completely like map out everything about them. So then when I'm writing, it's just like, you know, just it's there. It's, it's solid. I love, I think my favorite part of your whole book. Well, one thing, but I don't want to ruin it for everybody else. <laughs> but the other thing is all the friendship. Yeah. How they just poke fun at each other. Yes. I love that. Did you have to do a lot of research for your book? Um, for the, sorry, go ahead. Not really. Um, I have, I had some contacts with some professional video gamers that I had made um, at my job. And so when I wrote Level Me Up, I just sent him um, some questions. Every time I had some questions like, hey, I'm not quite sure about this. Um, and the same with one more round, I was working with, um, another professional gamer who has a YouTube channel and all that stuff. And, um, really I think it was cause I already kind of knew a lot about it that I could, um, ask better questions. Um, for book three, Ruby is a huge comic book fan and I don't know anything about comic books. But my uh, one of my best friend's husband is a huge comic book nerd. And so, like, I keep sending him these emails with these questions. And I'm just like, I don't really know what questions I have. So just tell me everything you know on comic books. And, like, I always get these, like, six or seven paragraph emails, like, with all this great information. I'm like, I can definitely make this work. One last question, oh. and then we're going to wrap it up. Okay. Gail or PETA? PETA, 100%. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone's like, well, a movie or a book? And I'm like, it's the same. There's it's, only one correct answer here. <laughs> it is the same. And I just feel like there was more, like, like more romance between her and Peta. And I feel like Gail was just more, like, best friend. Like, I love you because you're my best friend. Um, mm -hmm. Now, sometimes I go for the best friend. Don't get me wrong. But um, I don't know. I was always fan Peta. That pearl. She's still my heart. I cried the entire every single time. The first time I read it when she would play with that pearl. I'm just like, oh my god, Peta. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining me. Yes, thanks for having me. And whenever her book comes out, y'all need to buy it and read it because it's awesome. Yes. Yeah. When does it release? Um, next Thursday, so the twenty fourth. You need these gamer boys because a lot of people think there are not hot gamer boys out there. And I can tell you, I've done a lot of research, and there are. But these fictional gamer boys are hot, and they're sweet, <laughs> and they're funny. And broody and sexy. Yes. And, oh. <laughs> can you tell? I really like the broodiness. Can you tell? I'm like, that's, that's the second or third time I brought it up. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.